2016, one Boulder, Colorado resident says, has been the year of the crane. Google is one of a number of companies now building in the city. Its new campus could eventually house 1,500 employees. It's a wonderful company. Their workforce is the caliber of talent that we uh, pride ourselves on here in Boulder. Boulder Chamber President John Tayer says for the past decade, Google has pumped tax dollars into the area and been a net plus to the community. It's a wonderful boost to our economy. This is a pretty picture for those who want to stimulate a city's economy. But as often happens, what appears like progress to many is a bit less attractive to others. Oh, very exasperating. When Mary Green first moved to Boulder, she had to start out living in a trailer. This was the first time that I couldn't find anything that I could afford. It's a common complaint. The average price of a Boulder home now tops $1 million. Rental properties have become quite costly, too. I think the national perception of Boulder is that it's kind of a place that has it all. But Boulder Housing Partners Jeremy Durham says the city has a severe shortage of places like Diagonal Court, government subsidized affordable housing that 36 percent of Boulder residents now qualify for. It's a need that the market used to meet um, and now it no longer does. Boulder is a, a main attraction for a lot of uh, people with wealth. It's economics 101, one expert says, with limits on construction in the city. As demand has taken off here, so have prices. I think Boulder's probably one of the most aggressive cities in the country for affordable housing but you're just not going to be able to construct enough of it given the underlying economics. We have a lot of tools that we're trying to employ. Durham says his organization is doing what it can to prevent people who help keep Boulder running from getting pushed out of the city. It sometimes feels like we're just bursting at the seams. And there's a lot of value to having these public servants be in and a part of the community that you're living in. Tayer says affordable housing is a critical need, but one that's easier to face with an improving economy. I'd rather be addressing those challenges than the, the ones that we faced um, during the economic recession. It's a dilemma other tech-rich U.S. cities are also facing. Can a rising economic tide lift everyone? Hendrick Sabrandi, Boulder, Colorado.